Do this end? Yeah. Sure. I'll do this on the other side. You do this on the other side. I am Jeff the Homestead Dad and welcome to the homestead. Today we're going to take a in-depth look at this high tunnel, how it's different than some of the other um, high tunnel kits you can buy. This is a high tunnel by Nifty Hoops. Um, I bought this, well I bought it with partially with my own money and partially with a grant from the NRCS. Um, if you guys haven't already seen those videos, go back and watch the videos um, about constructing this, about how you can get an NRCS grant for a high tunnel. Uh, watch the video about uh, where I sit down and talk with the owner and founder of Nifty Hoops and where he sees the, the high tunnel industry going and how important it is to our food um, security. And um, But other than that, let's go ahead and take a look at this and uh, I'll show you some of the, the reasons why I got what I got and why just a few days in, I couldn't be happier with what I got. Let's start with some basics first. This high tunnel, like many that you can get with the NRCS grant, is 30 feet wide, and then it is 72 feet long. Um, it is this, this one that we got, has an eight foot roll up door right here, and it has one man door, although it has framing for another man door there, and on the other end, man door there, and man door there. I would just have to purchase another door, um, cut the plastic here, and go ahead and screw it in. These end walls are one of the big reasons that I went with Nifty Hoops. As part of their standard uh, high tunnel kit, they come with the, I forget what it is, it's like a ripstop plastic. Uh, a little bit more heavy duty than the plastic that goes over top, which is more the grower's um, plastic, the very, you know, almost clear plastic. So this has boxed, steel it's you know square tube framing very sturdy bolts together with uh tech screws um, and like i said it comes with the door so you can see it's got tech screws screwing the door into that frame you do the same thing over there it's the one of the coolest things is it's got this hinge system let me see if i can show you guys so see right here where there's that cut you can put the entire wall together and start it on the square tubes that go in the ground but it'll all be laid down this way and if you haven't watched that part of the video you should go watch that part of the construction video so the whole wall is laid down on the ground here and then you just hinge it up on these posts and it goes super easy and then it slides right down into the posts uh just super cool but some of the kits that you get don't have an end wall you have to purchase that um, separately some of them have an end wall, but it's just regular plastic. Some of them don't have an end wall at all. And what you do is you kind of put a couple stakes over here and you bunch up the plastic and you twist it up so that you kind of get a V going this way, but no real good way to get into the high tunnel. So this has been great. You can see uh, it's got a support from here up to this rib, same thing on this side and obviously on the other side. And this is another reason right here. These are automatic louvers. They're powered by a 12 volt DC uh, motor that is wired in right now. I've just got an extension cord down here because uh, we don't have power run down here yet. We plan on doing that. But these are wired through here to a thermostat. And let's go down here and I'll show you the thermostat. So the thermostat is right here. And what you can do is you can set the temperature you want and 
See, I just set it at a higher temperature and see, it's closing. Hope you guys can see that. So if I wanted it hotter in here, like obviously in the winter, I'm not gonna want it 55 degrees. If I want it, you know, 70 or, you know, whatever. So I can set this to whatever temperature. So I've just got it set at 55 or 50, and now they're gonna open back up. Opens up one side, and then there goes the other side. So the louvers are open now on both sides, which is super cool. This is standard with their hoop house, their high tunnel. And one of the things that Jeff was telling me is some of the other um, kits that you can buy the louvers extra, they actually use a lot more power because of the way they're run. Um, they use power to keep the louvers open where these are spring loaded. So once they're open, there's no power being drawn. It's they're just, they just stay open, which is really cool. Up is the hand crank. So these come standard, super easy to use. You saw my six year old using them uh, just before, or I'm about to show you a clip of that. Um, he can get it mostly up by himself, but then by the time he gets up to here, he's just not tall enough. So these are super easy to use. You can crank them up, you can crank them down. Uh, I do the whole thing and you guys can see I'm going up with literally, I could do it with one finger like that. I could go back up with one finger. It spins a little though, so it's not easy to do, but, um, not that it's not easy to do. It's that this spins. So like super easy to do. You can see this is super easy and then you let go and it stays where you want it. So that is super easy, super great. Um, literally it takes like two minutes to open up the high tunnel, both sides and the doors, and it takes less time than that to close it up. So those are a lot easier than trying to use, you know, roll it up yourself or whatever. That works really well. Um, one of the other things you can see are these wind braces right here. They're in each corner just to give it some more rigidity so that it's not racking back and forth with the wind i don't know if you guys can hear that humming but this was another reason why i got the nifty hoops high tunnel is this 12 volt fan right here and the reason we have a fan right here is because there's two layers of plastic that go all the way around over there to from the hip I think it's called the hip board right there to the hip board here there's two layers of plastic which is better than one layer of plastic and what's even better than just having two layers of plastic with nothing in between is these two layers of plastic are inflated so it gives a better insulating property and that's going to become really really important in the winter when we need that insulation in order to keep the temperature in here as high as possible so this 12 volt battery or 12 volt dc uh, fan you can hear you know, it's pretty much like a, um, it's almost like a computer fan. It's not that much bigger than a computer fan and it keeps this whole thing inflated. Let's go outside and I'll show you um, what it looks like from outside. I hope this comes through on the camera, but you can see where the frame is and it goes up and over, right? And it's just that Gothic style frame. But then right about here, it kind of, the plastic comes away from the frame because, let me hold this camera up and maybe you can see it as a little bit better, because it's inflated. So there's that layer of air that especially, and I don't know if you can tell, it almost looks like it's a, a whole foot of air between the two layers of plastic. So in the winter, that will just give us that much more insulation that will keep the heat in here so that we can grow things like lettuce and kale and chard and spinach through the winter. Now, one of the things that they designed into their high tunnel is what they call an air jumper. I don't know if you guys can see that very well. I'll try to zoom in on it. It's right there. And all it is is a almost like a, a vacuum hose with flanges on two ends. And what it does is the air has a hard time coming from this side where the fan is across the ridge beam to this side. So what they've done is they've put 
an air jumper that jumps the air over the ridge or in this case under the ridge so that both sides inflate evenly and then you can inflate both sides with one very small very energy conscious fan it may not be easy to tell on camera but this thing is super super sturdy um, my 15 almost 16 year old son was up there climbing around in this stuff and I'm sure he'll be climbing around up there more because it's just that sturdy there's enough support that it's super heavy duty and you can see I've already run a cable I don't know if you can see it on the camera here I've run a cable across and then run strings down to trellis my tomatoes because I don't have any worry about that happening, about you know it, it not being strong enough to do that. One of the things that I bought, this was the only thing that I bought that was extra, and it was, um, as Jeff would say, it is cheap insurance, are these thousand pound breakaway um, toggles. You guys can see them right here. They get driven down into the ground <clears throat> and then attached with this section of rebar so that it's just uh, a cheap way to make sure that if for some reason there were some high winds that I didn't know about um, that were coming and I didn't get everything um, tied back down and buttoned up before it came, that would give me extra insurance to make sure that nothing came out of the ground, although I don't think that would uh, be a problem. As I said earlier, um, one of the reasons I got this was the two eight foot, they're eight by eight, uh, equipment doors one matching one on the other side so i could put the rollover protection down on my tractor and i can drive my tractor right in through here i don't know that i'll need to but maybe next year i'll want to retill everything so i'll bring the tractor in here till it i don't have to worry about being able to get you know find a way to get the equipment in there this is plenty big and it offers a huge amount of airflow through the ends uh, when it's opened up so Typically lately, I've just been leaving the other side um, closed because with the sidewalls up, it's been, you know, venting no problem. It's the air flow has been great. So, so, and as with all high tunnel kits, uh, there's the wind rope to make sure. So this black rope over here that goes along, it's got the strapping here to make sure that the wind can't blow these end walls up. Um, there's the, the bottom boards along the whole entire thing. There's just a bunch of cool stuff. And then, it, like I said, it comes with one door. Um, <clears throat> so that's my high tunnel. I am so, so pleased with it. I am so looking forward to growing a ton of food for my family and hopefully I get to the point where I can grow food for other people. And even if it's just friends and extended family, that would be awesome because then we're just eating more local food. So if you have any questions, um, you can go ahead and leave them in the comments below. You can go to niftyhoops.com. I will leave that link in the description below. Um, but yeah, it's, it's a lot of fun. I'm really looking forward to using this. Also on Nifty Hoops website, they do offer a couple things that you can buy extra if you want to. They have an overhead uh, where you hang it above um, on the rafters here, um, overhead watering system. They have, um, you can order extra doors if you want to. They have a solar kit where if you are so far off the grid uh, that you can't get an extension cord here, you can run a solar kit to run the, the louvers and the fan. Um, but yeah, honestly, like, I'm not sure, you know, I'll probably, I'm gonna look at, I'm gonna go down to their facility and, and look at the overhead watering system because I think that would be really nice. Um, to be able to set it and have it water and not have to worry about running soaker hoses like I'm doing right now. <clears throat> but this kit was so complete that it was well worth my money to spend a little bit of money out of pocket over um, and above the high tunnel grant from the NRCS that, uh, that that's what I did. If you have any questions, like I said, leave them in the comments below. Um, otherwise, click on that link, that subscribe button, uh, the bell notification so you don't miss anything. And as always, God bless you and your family, and I'll see you guys in the next video.